Awesome. All right, guys. Happy Apple Day. Um, so tell you that I kind of told you guys the story of where I was at yesterday. I was um well, let's go to the whole story. I, I went on pre-order day um and I needed to order two of these headsets. So I need one for me, one for the channel, one to use, you know, I'm gonna use it with impact reality. So, you know, I need one for me in general, but a lot of it is for me and for, yes, but it's for me to cover for here for the channel too. Uh, and it's also going to be in for impact reality and some of the things that we're doing this year for impact reality. I needed to buy another one because I had a developer who's a client of ours at impact reality, who's outside of the country that can't get one. And they want to develop, uh, an app. They want to, they want to put their application, which is an OG application. They want to put it on the, the Apple vision pro. So I picked up two of, they asked me, they were like, Hey, can you, would you mind buying us one and then just ship it to us? And I'm like, of course, you know, I want to make sure that they get, you know, a headset to, to use, to try and, and work on. So we do that. I get them. I, I go there to the, the day to order. I told you guys the story last night. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't know how to do anything. Took a while to get my face scan done. And when that happened, it pushed my order back until like February 27th to March 8th. And then, so I kind of like, okay, give me, I'm like, give me one. And then the dude said, well, you know, we're going to have stuff available in the store the day of. And I'm like, okay, well, great. He's like, oh, well, I don't know how many we have. You can't put them aside. They're first come first serve just the day of launch. You got to get here and, and hope you get one. I'm like, all right, perfect. I'll pre-order the one. And then I'll, um, I'll just come and pick it up that day. Well, I went home that afternoon and I had been hearing people that were going back online again and getting them uh, at, at quicker. They were getting them at, at, at earlier dates. So I didn't want to lose the one I had already ordered. So I left that in there and I went and ordered another one and I got it delivered. I got it set up for delivery or pickup in the store on March 3rd or uh, February 3rd, which is tomorrow. I'm like, okay, great. At least I have to wait one day. I already have the other one on order for the other, for the developer that'll come in, you know, sometime in late February, early March. And then, you know, I'll have, you know, maybe I'll, I'll go in the day of and try and get one so I can get one day of, and then I'll just cancel one. Well, that's exactly what happened. I went in this morning, um, really early. The store normally opens at 10. They opened at eight today in this little, uh, strip mall. Um, you know, not strip mall, but like a mini mall, like an outdoor, like outdoor, like nice, you know, garden area mall. Um, and so they opened the mall early just for this. They have security guards. So you can't go in any other part of the mall, just the Apple store. They have like a big line out front. Like they have a big line. Uh, they have people out there like roped off. So that they're going to have like a lot of people standing in line. They can kind of divert them through a roped off area. Really cool. Like I was like, holy crap. I was a little nervous at that point. I'm like, wow, is there's this many people here. Maybe I won't get one. Um, so basically I was, I, I get up to the front of the line. They're like, can we help you? And I'm like, yeah, I'm here to buy an Apple vision pro. And they're like, oh, great. No problem. Let's go do this. And I'm like on the way. And I'm like, and just so you know, I'm picking one up tomorrow. Um, and what happens when you pick them up in the store, they don't just say, come in and get it. They basically give you an appointment time. So my appointment time was for tomorrow at 8 PM to go pick it up. And I'm like, well, that kind of sucks. So I just thought, Hey, and just so you know, I have an online order. I'm picking it up tomorrow. My, my scheduled appointment at 8 PM. Any way I can just pick it up today. And they're like, yeah, no problem. We'll take care of it. So I get in there and now I'm, it's great. I'm, I'm getting the, I'm getting one for me for that day. I can pick one up my second order tomorrow for the developer. And then I'll just cancel that third order. Uh, so that's what we did. It was pretty cool. And I got to say, I was in there early, like store opened at eight o'clock. I was in there at eight Oh five and the store is packed by the time I get in there. And I recorded all of this with my Ray-Ban meta glasses. So it's just, it was just super cool to see. So and this is the effect of Apple. I don't think this could happen in any other way. Like there's no way if you had like the meta stores, when the quest three headset came out the day of launch, you, you probably didn't have people lining up early to go in and just do a demo. I mean, you had probably people going in and doing demos, but not like this, like literally the store was full. Nobody was in there for any other uh, Apple product, except for the vision pro every demo station had somebody on it being demoed. One of the coolest things I saw was an elderly man which i'll put this in a video i i might drop it on twitter later uh because i did get some recording of it elderly gentleman probably in his i don't know mid 80s late 80s in a wheelchair with like the hearing aid implant and everything 
and he's sitting there with the Apple Vision Pro headset on and he's doing a complete demo. You know, he's got the pinch and the pull going on. He's moving screens, doing the whole thing. It is one of the most amazing scenes I have ever seen. It's like, I, I was like, this is, can't be real. I'm th this happening right now. This, I cannot believe this guy is doing this in front of me. And I, and I was like, do you mind if I record you a little bit? And he's like, yeah, no problem. And like the, the people were super nice around him. Uh, so I just got my glasses there and I'm just recording this guy, older gentleman, having the time of his, his life in this headset. And this is an older gentleman who he's in a wheelchair, probably can't move around anymore, probably can't go places. Can you imagine what this headset now affords him? You know, now we've been already been doing some of these things in other headsets, but can you imagine what this new headset could afford him? Could what, what kind of life he could lead now and do other things outside of being stuck in a wheelchair? Get your brain out of your body for a little bit. Um, so I thought it was super cool. Um, that was one of the cooler things. I'll definitely show you guys the video of that. A um, couple of YouTubers there. Uh, I had a couple uh, of, um, of a, a lady who was a, a YouTuber. She was doing a demo, having a blast. She does like a lifestyles channel. Uh, I can't remember her name right now. It was something like Peaches McIntyre, I think is her name of her channel. She got like 500,000 subscribers, but she was there. She was like, yeah, I'm covering this thing for my channel. It's amazing. I just did the demo. I'm like, are you buying one? She's like, yep, I'm buying one. So she bought one right then and there. A uh, whole bunch of people coming in and actually just picking up orders while we were there. Um, just a super cool thing to see. Like every time an order came out of the back room, you know, all the associates or whatever they call them geniuses are clapping. And like, it was just kind of like a big like a big uh, production, I thought was super cool. Uh, when you're charging thirty five hundred dollars for a headset, there better be <laughs> there better be production. Um, and there was, it was cool. I mean, if you guys saw some of the the footage around, this is just in my local Apple store here in Florida. I mean, the one in New York City is awesome. I mean, it's amazing. You see some of those the footage there. But um, we got a whole bunch of people watching today, so let me come in and say hello to everybody real quick. Because uh, you know me, I can't go, I can't do anything without a roll call. Um, we got DTZ a thousand is here, Artful is here, Black Market Honey, Paradise DK, Arlen Cunder, Q Creator, what is up, dude? Jay Brat has stopped by. How's it going? Techno Glitch, Elvert is here. Uh, let's see who else. Tasselhoff, of course, is here. Thank you guys for helping me with my audio. Uh, we figured it out. Todd is here. What's up, dude? How are you doing? I was gonna try and have Todd join me today, but he's busy. James is here, Michelle B, J Devil, Roy Schwartz, Brandon VR, Chris9989, App J. Uh, who else do we have? Gabriel004. How are you doing, dude? Uh, Boy Brown VR, Zell2318, Paradise DK. What is up, dude? How are you doing? Uh, Sim is here. Uh, who else do we have? Space Denizen, Olivia Herrera. Hello, Olivia. How are you doing? Thanks for coming by uh chai town d what's up d how are you doing d's working she just wanted to stop by and watch today for this opening which we're gonna get to in just two seconds i don't want to keep you guys waiting um let's see just want to kick the rest off assassin 32 vr um i think i got everybody bacardi b distracted rattlehead 9026 all my regulars i love you guys i appreciate it i didn't realize and i just realized as soon as i clicked on a youtube uh, before I went live, TBC VR Gaming is that Brad is live right now too. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh no, how not to play is here. Jen Bread, uh, Mind Jive. Oh my God, so many people. Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, GT Racer, Top Gunner, Arcanian, Quadzilla, Sandor, the Game Tiger. What's up, dude? So yeah, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, Brad's going live at 3:15. I'm like, I'm screwed. But anyway, I appreciate you guys being here. Let's go. Let's get to this thing. This is pretty awesome. So I wanted to tell that story because like a dumbass, I'm so stupid. I put on Facebook this morning and on Twitter, you know, pictures of me picking up two of these things and I put them in my car and people are like, oh, you're just like flexing guys. I did not buy in both of these things. I can't afford that. It's like $10,000 worth of product here. This is being bought. One of these is being bought by the developer and then the other one's going to be, is going to be used for business. So, um, you know, <laughs> people are like, you're flexing. I'm not flexing. I just wanted to show off that it was cool. That I had, you know, it's just weird that you have two two bags like this, and uh, basically, you know, it was ten thousand, almost ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. That's why I had to have the security walk me to the car. Um, there we go. Well, let me zoom that out a little bit. A little too close. Camera. 
zoom zoom okay so yeah so yeah it was like 10 grand worth of stuff man so i'm like oh man i gotta i want to have them walk me out because it's it's not like a normal day people know that these apple headsets are out there and i don't want to get jumped in a freaking parking lot so you know carrying 10 grand worth of stuff so yeah that was nice enough they walked me out to the parking lot so it was pretty cool but this is it guys i mean it's basically just in an apple bag um hard case box actually pretty nice box um the guy was telling me at the store they actually pack these individually so everyone especially the ones that are bought in store the day of they actually so they have like the main box and then they get pieces of each unit as they're ordered and they build them in the back room and put them in the main box and then seal it uh in the back room and that's because of the, the facial interface so uh unless you ordered it online where it was already pre-done if you're ordering in store that day they're taking a scan of your face and then they're going back in there and they're grabbing your facial interface and they're grabbing anything that's going to change with your order. And they're packing each box individually, which I thought was pretty cool, man. I've never kind of seen anything like that. All right, let's get this thing out of here. It's quite heavy. All right, just to, let, just to like, let you guys know. Yeah, it's quite heavy already. Like just the box itself is it's uh, formidable in the weight, um, which makes me nervous right off the bat. Um, Cuz it's just cardboard I'm assuming, so. Uh Arcanian, how many accessories did we get? I did I bought one accessory. I won't tell you what it is yet, but I bought one accessory. Um uh, Artful says, can I buy the third uh, Apple Vision Pro pre-order from you? Was it a one terabyte? It was not. It was a 512. Um, I did, for me, get the one terabyte. So this version that I'm pulling out right here uh, is the... Let me just move this camera a little bit. Yeah, so this version that I'm, I'm, I have right here is the, um, is the one terabyte version. Uh, the other one that I have um, is, a, is a 512. Okay, so pretty basic. You can just see it's got the picture of the headset on the front, Apple Vision Pro on the side. They are sealed with these little seal tapes uh, on two sides. And just in the back right here uh, shows you that it's a one terabyte. 512 or 256. Isn't the bag, is it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the bag. <laughs> they really only have... A couple of things like so while i was there they have the the clip the belt clip for the battery and then they have the bag that's really all there is uh unless you're going to buy like a keyboard or something which isn't like um gt racer says i'm watching with in, in my quest 3 how cool is that watching me open a vision pro in the quest 3 that's pretty damn cool okay so let's open this thing up like i said it's pretty heavy uh the box is solid so it's not uh it's definitely not like a cheesy box it's like a hard cardboard there's one what's up traveling man mepper how you doing uh artful says okay thanks eric i'll wait for them to sell officially in the uk if you think it's worth it yeah i mean if you're for the 200 dollars difference i mean literally if you're thinking about either unless you're going to go to the 256 if you're going 512 for 200 dollars at this point you're already spending this much money at this point i don't see why you would not spend the extra 200 dollars and get the one terabyte I do have a feeling that these applications, which we will see many, many, many more within the next year to two years, are going to be big. They're, a they're going to be huge. And I don't want to be having to zip stuff on and off all the time. Um, Brad kind of talked me into getting the one terabyte. I was going to offer the uh, order the 512. That's why the second order I have, the one that's pushed out until like end of February, is the 512. Um, the developer I needed it for, I asked them what size they wanted. They said they were, they just would have taken the, the smallest because they don't need memory. They just need the actual headset to be able to work on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was going to order the 512 and I started talking to Brad and he's like, mash, he's like, I'm getting the one terabyte. I just think these things are going to be too big. He's going to, you're going to regret it later for, for 200 bucks. 
getting things done is here what is up dude how are you doing uh jay dunn is here he's he i know he got his today uh he says uh, i have the i have the terabyte nice dude and he says i'm in love with this thing oh my god i'm so happy you heard you say that uh just to give you guys a, before i actually get into the box just to give you a, a quick um like a, a quick idea of what the demo is so in store when you're in store and i did not do the demo in store i recorded some other people doing it while they were there but in store apparently this this uh and Jaden, let me know if you've done this apparently this like a zoo or or a wildlife demo and the lady was talking about a, uh, having a rhinoceros come up to her and lick her face <laughs> and i'm like what and she's like yeah and she's like it was the coolest thing i've ever seen and then I had another guy who was doing a demo come up to me and tell me the exact same thing. Um, and it was like, they were just freaking out about this demo. So, uh, Jay Dunn, did you do this, this demo that I'm talking about? It's like, um, it's some kind of like, some kind of like either a zoo demo or like an, a wildlife demo. And they're talking about a rhino coming up to them and having it be like completely lifelike. Um, so it, it, incredibly crazy. Uh, the people, everybody that was there that was doing a demo was like literally freaking out, uh, when they did, uh, the demos, they were like, I had one lady, she, again, she was a YouTuber. She was there, I think with either her brother or her son or something. And he was recording for her. I actually did an interview with her. I used my meta Ray-Ban glasses, which she freaked out with. Uh, again, she's a lifestyle YouTuber and, uh, she got like 550,000 subscribers. Uh, cause we, we both subscribed to each other while we were there. And she, she's like, I haven't seen these Ray-Ban metas yet. She's like, I'm fascinated with them. So I let her kind of use them and she checked them out. But as soon as I said, Hey, do you mind if I record your reaction? Um, and I hit the glasses completely freaked her out because uh, she hadn't actually seen them in person yet. So she was, she was super stoked about that. Um, but yeah, the demo sounds super cool. Uh, I, I I'm looking forward to going into it. I'm not going to get that deep into this today. This is basically guys, this is today opening the box picking the headset up, looking at it, look at everything that comes with it, put it on my head, maybe turn it on. And that's going to be it. I, it's too much to get into. And I don't want to do a disservice to this thing. I'll do either, either we'll do another live where I'm like getting into like using it or I'll do a recorded, I'm probably going to do recorded videos um, most likely, but I want to do this live today. So you can get my, my reactions of opening it up. That's all we're doing. Bacardi B says, Ken's VR. I know I have big FOMO right now. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, it was funny. I had Z Storm, Z Storm Games uh, hit me up this morning. He's like, he's like, you better bring that with you next week. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm gonna be at, I'm gonna be in Florida next week at Combat Waffle Studios for the Ghost of Tabor launch. He's like, you better bring that headset with you. So at least I get to share it with some people next week. I'll be bringing the Apple Vision Pro to the Combat Waffle Studios next week. All right, let's get this thing open. And uh, and there it is, Apple Vision Pro. Um, I will tell you that I was a little bit nervous. The, a lot of the weight is in this box. It's like uh, one of those double, you know, thick walled boxes. So a lot of the weight is here. But it's very cool the way they have this thing kind of seated on here. It's like sitting in this little heavy, heavy duty cardboard cradle. Um, I don't know if there'll be any rants today, guys. Everybody wants me to rant. I don't, uh, I don't think there will be. I mean, I, I don't know if I, unless I put this thing on and it weighs 400 pounds and I'm just like, this thing is so uncomfortable. That's the only, that could happen. I could put this thing on right now and be like, what the frig? This thing's so uncomfortable. I can't do it. But I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I still haven't picked it up by itself yet. Like I've been picking up the box and this is heavy, but let's pick up the whole thing. Let's see. Oh no, 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 no. What is everybody complaining about? No, come on. No way. I swear this feels just like, it feels like my Quest 2. I mean, it's heavier in the front, but I don't think it's any heavier than the Quest 2 in the front. Yeah, Quest Pro. That's exactly it, Artful. It feels just like the Quest Pro. Hang on. Good call, Artful. Hmm. Mm. Wow, I think it's lighter than the Quest Pro. The Pro. God, 
God, I'm shocked. I am shocked. The Quest Pro is heavier, way heavier. Way heavier. And front heavier, too. Now, I know the Quest Pro has the, the battery pack in the back here, so it doesn't feel as out of balance, probably. Uh, the only add-on I have is this little tiny strap, and this thing's light. That's literally the only add-on. And then this little, this little tiny battery thing that has no weight to it. I'm feeling the front of it right now, like holding the front of this here and holding the front of this. This is lighter. This feels lighter. No, I know there's no battery task, and that's the whole idea. The battery's off of it. That's why they they brought the weight down of it to get the battery off of your body, off of your head. I'm not saying this is light. What I'm saying is everybody made this out to be the heaviest thing you've ever seen, and that's just not the case. Like, it feels to me like a headset. It feels like a normal headset. Now, I can tell you without even taking this off, there is a lot of weight here in the front because of the glass and everything just feels like super solid and heavy. But you remember how heavy the Quest 2 was or I don't even, or the Quest 1 was, I mean? That's kind of what it feels like, the Quest 1. In the front, in the, in the front anyway. Literally, I'm, I'm telling you, anybody who is complaining, like holding this thing, now I haven't put it on my head yet, and I don't know what it's going to feel like on my head, but just holding this thing, anybody who said this thing is way heavy, they have never been in a VR headset, or they've never put any significant time in a VR headset. I, I promise you guys, if you held this right now, you'd be like, kind of shocked. And the only reason I'm shocked is because I thought it was going to be way heavier feeling than what they said. Because everybody was complaining. This is like the main thing. Everybody's like, oh my God, it's so damn heavy. I can't handle it. But I had a feeling it might be the case because most of the people that were reviewing these things were not people that have that spend time in headsets. Wow, that even just took a little more weight off of it. This is hard. This is hard cardboard. It's not like uh it's like molded. Oh my God, these lenses are tiny though. <gasps> no. Oh no. Oh shit. I don't know, man. I'm scared. All right, guys. Here's my first thing that has scared me. Look how small these lenses are. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. It's, like a, it's very dark in there, but do you see how small these lenses are? They're so tiny. I better be able to get my freaking eyes right up to those because they are so small. I mean, let's look at the size of the Pro. There's the, there's the Quest Pro lenses. Here, let me take, uh, let me take the facial interface off. <gasps> look how small these are. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Look how small they are. Damn. The lenses alone cost $700 for Apple. I don't doubt it. These are literally, I don't know if you can see it in the camera very well because I know it's dark in there, but they're literally that big. Like, they're that big, the lenses. See you, Tass. Thanks for coming. Okay, my first little nervousness is with these lenses. I know everybody's been saying the field of view is like pretty small. Uh, and I've been like, okay, it's probably not that bad because, and again, I think I said it on Crewcast the other day because GT was talking about it. I quickly forget about um, FOV unless it's like, unless you're going like something from like the Pimax 8K Hex, which is like a 200 degree field of view to down to something like, you know, a Quest 1 you know what I mean, or something like that, or even something smaller in FOV, that, then you're like, oh my God, it's so, dr so drastically noticeable that it, you, you notice it more. But when it's close, I, I, it goes away from me. Like I, I'll, I'll notice it originally when I'm in there, and then it kind of fades away, and you get doing whatever you're doing, you don't notice it. Now, though, seeing the size of these lenses, and again, this is not me putting them on, I'm just looking. I'm just looking at the size of them. They're freaking tiny, man. I don't think I have a headset that has lenses this small. I I, I don't think I do. And you know, I have every pretty much every headset. Um, both so blurry. What do you mean? Are they blurry when I'm showing it to you? 
Oh, you want me to do it in this one? This one, eh, this one could be better. That one better? Did I get a better view for you guys? They're small, dude. Look how small those are. Mm, trying to get a good view for you. It's just dark in there. It's like it's everything around it is black, so it's tough for the camera to pick them up. That's probably the best the best view right there. But they're small. Here, I'll show you the Quest Pro again with this camera. Quest Pro is even harder to show you because it does. I can't move the head strap to get it under the camera. But there's the Quest Pro lenses. See how big those are? Those are the Quest Pro. But to get past that, whoa, to get past that, um, so it's lightweight. It's, it feels fine. I'm not going to have any issues wearing this thing for hours and hours and hours. I'm telling you right now. Um, it does have this nice protective cover on it, uh, which is cool because, again, this whole front's going to be glass. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get to the rest of the, what's in the box first before we take that off. I'm curious as to what all this stuff is like i am super excited about the weight i think that's great this is just paperwork and shit not going through that so this is another facial interface um so it looks like you have two available a thinner one and a thicker one Hey, Classy Grandma is here. What is going on, Classy Grandma? How are you doing? Uh, Classy Grandma says, oh my God, you're live. Hey, neighbor dude. Playing with a new toy, I see. Absolutely. Nothing better than playing with new toys. Uh, Eric, could that cover, if left on uh, the front, overheat it? Um, that's a great question, PD. Um, probably. I don't see any vents, but... I don't, I don't know. There's no venting here that I see. I don't want to open this. I want to take it off yet, but I'll take a look when I take it off. Um, but this facial interface is interesting. I wonder. So this is just um, what I do like about this right away. You got these two facial interfaces. This is the one that came on it. And this is the one that came in the box. And they're just different thicknesses. But what I like about it already, no Velcro. All, all, um, all uh, magnets. So they just... You don't have to worry about, oh, you know, the, the Velcro's got all screwed up and you got one piece moving up and down. Thank you for the $10 super chat, Classy Grandma. You're amazing. I appreciate you. Um, mm, interesting. I, this is w very extremely well made just from what I'm looking at already. The nose piece, um, again, it's very dark in there but because it's all black. Um, but the nose piece is... You can't get a good shot. Yeah, you can barely see the nose piece, but the nose piece right here is actually pretty small, which I like. Well, I have to see if how much light it blocks out, but it looks pretty. It looks pretty good. It looks like it's not going to bother me getting up near my eyes or anything. Um, but yeah, another facial interface. More paperwork. Holy crap, man! This is like a freaking manual, like a thick ass manual. Okay, this is uh okay, this looks like the other head strap. Um, so this is yeah, this is the other head strap that this this is the other thing that kind of disappointed me a little bit. Why does this have to be separate to where I lose this? Because I'm gonna want this over the head head strap. I'm gonna want that, right? I'm gonna want that. But this is so nice. Like I haven't actually put it on my head yet. But just feeling it, the material is super nice. And I love how wide this thing is. It's really going to cradle the back of my head. But now I lose it because I'm going to want to wear that. Why can't I just put this onto this? That's what I would have done if I was Apple. That's why you know it's an afterthought. They threw this in because they heard so many people bitching about it. So they're like, I'll throw this into the box. Um, so, you know, no, you can have something. But I wish we'll see something aftermarket. But interesting to see how this, man, they really, I got to say Apple's packaging is like, 
but like I said, I haven't, I haven't had an iPhone in years and I, so I haven't even opened their stuff like, uh, or anything Apple, but their packaging is pretty cool, man. This is going to be interesting to weigh this. I'm going to switch this out for you guys in a minute and see what that feels like. Let's check out the battery. Here's the other thing too. Everybody says like how, oh, Skiba's here. I'll tell you right now. Ready? Oh, it's definitely got that. It's definitely got that new headset smell, but if you guys have ever opened much um, headsets from China or made in China, they have that factory, that Chinese factory smell to them, but it, it's not, not in a bad way. It's a good way, but it's definitely noticeable. Um, so yeah, here's the other thing I was worried about, how heavy this battery is. If they're selling a clip for this thing that you have to put on your belt, I would assume it's going to be pretty goddamn heavy. Um, and it is. Oh, this thing is heavy, dude. Wow. That weighs like... It's heavier than my cell phone. It's probably a my cell phone and a half of weight. It's heavy. It smells like meta tears. I don't think so. Hard. <laughs> you guys are funny. The Chinese... I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. I, me I, I meant it more like... Um, F factories um especially clean room factories that you get tech out of has a very distinctive smell uh i can't describe it any other way um when you open them they have that clean room very antiseptic kind of smell to it um but i can't i'm sorry i can't i, I didn't mean to like I'm not, I'm not trying to offend anybody uh it's just uh, it's a very distinctive smell and i have a lot of headsets that come from china and that's what they all smell like <laughs> so sorry uh, um, but this battery is heavy. This battery is heavy. New tech. Thank you very much. New techs. It's got a new tech smell. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Mava. Ever the ever the uh ever, ever the politician. <laughs> uh it is, it's like a new car smell. It is just like a new car smell. All right, let's see. This thing has a weird this thing is here's the plug I'm going into right now. I'm trying to get the plug out of here. So Battery, here, here's the other thing that's weird. Battery is connected forever to this tethered cord. You can't take it on and off. Um, trying to figure out how to get this thing out of here. Hmm. Does it unscrew in some way? <laughs> okay, how do you come out of there? Oh, uh, okay, maybe I'll do that. This is like a freaking jigsaw puzzle to get this thing out of here. Ah, there it goes. All right, so this is their proprietary um, little plug that is going to be going on to the, uh, the side of the headset, which I'll plug in in a second for you. Uh, I do like this. You don't have to worry about like a plug sitting weird out the side or pulling on anything. Um, but it's not very big. It's actually pretty small. Like, it's not thick or anything. It doesn't, like, stick way into the headset or anything. Yeah, again, everything is packaged really well. Impressive. And then we have, uh, we have another braided cable. This is a braided cable, by the way. Uh, the braided, this, uh, the braided cable on the battery. It's so it's, it's nice material. And then we have another braided cable that will go with this charging brick. Right there. Charging brick with another braided cable. I'm assuming that's USB-C to USB-C. And it is. So because this thing's only a two hour battery, you will be able to basically plug it into the wall and then you have another charging port right here. So you can be tethered to a plug if you're stationary. You can be tethered to a plug. So if you're going to watch a movie or something, plug from the brick into the battery, then into the headset, and then you don't have to worry about the two-hour battery anymore. It's a premium look. I mean, Apple does this stuff, right? Like this right here, this is pretty nice, I gotta say. I don't see how it connects on here, but this is the way that everything should be hooked up if you're hooking up something to a headset, tethered to a headset. I think that's it for the box. 
Uh, yep, uh, doesn't nothing else comes out. I think that's it. So, all right, let's take this thing off. Uh, I will show here. So this is where that that power cable is going to go, right there. And then here's the speakers, and they're quite large. Um, the speakers themselves. This is all speaker here, and then this is the output of it, both sides. Somebody had asked me yesterday if there was a 3.5 millimeter jack. There is not that I see anywhere. Uh, no jack. And let's take this thing off. PD, you were asking me if you think this thing will overheat. And I would say yes, because look at, there's all the venting. So if you cover that venting up with this, I would assume <laughs> it's going to overheat. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat in this thing. Um, but you can see how large the vents are on both sides. Guys, this is not a heavy headset, though, at all. I mean, it's front heavy, but total weight, it does not feel heavy to me. I mean, literally, it's, it's tiny. Fingerprints already, I know. It's going to be fingerprints. But you know what? That's why they make... That's why they make these. Everybody's bitching about the glass front. Oh my God, you got fingerprints on it. Okay. Um, I think it looks super cool, man. Looks super cool. Looks like a badass headset. Um, let's plug this thing in real quick. I want to see how this kind of goes on here. So I think what you're supposed to do is push it in and twist. Yeah, there's like a lock position here. How come like Marquez Brownlee makes this look so smooth, dude? I think he was coached before. I'm doing this old. So you must have to line it up. Pro oh yeah, I see. You got to line it up properly, and then turn it. Hmm. I almost thought it was going to be like magnetic or something, like it would just pop on, but it's not. You got to like push it in and then turn it in some way. It's not real intuitive. I got to tell you. You have to line it up down. Ah, there it is. I had it backwards. Okay, I had it upside down. And then it turned right on. The uh, the white light uh, has turned on right there. Alrighty. All right, let's put this thing on. Where is that thing? Yeah, it's uh, it's powered up already. It's showing me some stuff in the headset. Um, so, oh, it's telling me to align it for my eyes. Wow. So it's basically just put me through... It basically just then, just by pushing this button, there's two green, um, basically green eye shapes. And then you have where your eyes are in the headset and you push the button and it matches the eye shapes to your headset. And it just set my IPD like that. And right now I'm in pass through. I can see everything. And holy shit, that pass through is good. Okay. Um, all right. I'm impressed. The pass-through is fucking great. The pass-through is so good. Um, yeah, the automatic IPD, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's not exactly automatic. You have to hold the button down, but it actually, it is pretty much automatic. Literally, it took seconds. Um, thank you, Todd for taking care of that. You should be producing, by the way. Um, this pass-through is fantastic. 
All right, you guys are all used to, most of you guys are all used to the Quest 3. We all know about Quest 3 has really good pass-through compared to, say, the Quest Pro, um, but it's not exactly perfect, right? You got to have super bright lights, and it does still have a grainy effect to it. The pass-through, now, when I'm looking at my monitor here, I'm still getting the flashing. You know how you look at your monitor and you get that, you know, it's the it's the delay and you get the flashing of the lights. So you get a little bit of that flashing when you're looking at, say, like your phone or like uh, any, uh, any other monitor or display. But when I'm looking at my hands, it doesn't, it almost doesn't look like it's uh, an image. It looks like it's, it looks like it's completely real. It look, doesn't look like video. You know how you get that warping effect also with the Quest 3? Where when you move things in and out, you get that warping effect. It, you don't have that here at all. Like, literally, this is freaking amazing. Wow. It's super clear, even on my phone. You know, sometimes, like, even with the Quest 3, with pass-through, you get that washed-out whites, like, on your phone, if you have a white background. I'm not getting that at all. Um let me, uh, let me just read some chat here. I'll answer some stuff for you guys. Um, has the buyer's remorse crept in yet? No, I don't think we're there yet. Uh, now, okay, I, I'm I'm so enamored with pass-through. I haven't even gotten to how small these lenses are yet because I'll tell you about that in a second with the field of view. Um, put my eyes on. Press digital crown to begin. Digital crown, where's the digital crown? Is that here? I think that's that. Um, you see the flashing light through the reception for the, yeah, but well, I can read your comments perfectly. Oh, it says, bring your iPhone or your iPad close to your headset to set it up. Guess what? Don't have either one of those. Why are you wearing, uh, why are you only wearing one of the two headsets? <laughs> you want me to put both of them on Skiva? Both of the two, that would be funny. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm literally reading all your comments perfectly. The pass through is, uh, I had a little bit of warping right there. I had a little bit of distortion. So I, I'm looking over in my windows over here and I have a lot of bright white litter over here and I'm like turning my head um, a little bit faster than I was just a minute ago and now I'm getting a little bit of distortion. But only out of my peripheral. Um, so if I'm looking straight on, I don't get it. But I ca if I catch it out of my peripheral, I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a little bit of a warping. Only if I move really fast. Uh, no, it's it. Um, Bacardi B says I guess you can't set it up now. It, it says double click if you want. Double click this button up here if you want to do it manually. So I can do it. I don't know how far I want to get into it though with you guys um, here. But let's. I'll go. I'll go a little bit far. Okay, I'm being talked to right now, which is pretty damn amazing. The, the audio is awesome. So I'm in pass-through still, but I'm looking at, they're giving me like a tutorial about the um, about using the hand gestures. And um, it looks really good. The pass-through video is not washed out in any way. It looks great. I don't know how to turn the eyes on. I turned the eyes on to show you guys, but I don't know how yet. So I'm not that far along. Um, all right, let's talk about. Uh, I don't want to go too much farther because I want. I want to. I want to do this right, uh, and I don't want to like be trying to listen and, and not talk to you guys. So I'm not going to get into the the deep setup of this yet. Let's talk about the eye. Let's talk about field of view. So I was super worried with seeing the size of these, and I definitely notice a more limited field of view than say with my quest pro or you know even my quest 3 definitely any of the pimax headsets there's definitely a more limited field of view do i think it's going to bother me i at this point i don't think so because it's not like super i mean i notice it now because i was kind of looking for it um I don't, I mean, I'll hold judgment to, until I start getting into it and like maybe, you know, actually doing something other than being in pass through, but I mean, it's not, a, I don't think it's a deal breaker in any way for me. It's not that bad. I mean, I definitely can see it and notice it. It's nowhere near like wearing, you know, a set of like, you know, um, AR glasses. If you've seen how bad their field of view is, um, 
So it, it feels, feels fine. I think it's going to be fine. The weight is, it's not an issue for me right now. I've been wearing this for a few minutes now. I'm like, feels normal. If, if you are used to wearing a VR headset, you are going to wear this and be comfortable, especially when you get that top strap on. Like, um, you know who else likes to put a top strap on? Yeah, she does. Um, all right, I got to turn this thing off because I got to take it. I got to, I'm going to take it off. Um, hang on. Uh, it doesn't have a mic. It does have a mic. I don't know how good of a mic it is yet because, of course, none of the reviewers have ever even talked about the mic. I can tell you the little bit of, I, all I heard was like a, a lady's voice talking to me, um, and the, but the audio sounded great. Uh, sounded really good. I'm um, looking forward to seeing more of the audio. Um, but it, it sounded really good. The mic, I have no idea how well it works or not yet. Not many people have talked about it as far as I know. Um, but I will check it out, of course. Um, you know, it, I'll get a completely deep dive into this thing. Um, Phoenix Playground says audio is great. Nice. Uh, how's the stock weight on your head? I, yeah, Philo's, I'm, I'm telling you, if you're, nor, if you're used to wearing a VR headset, this is not going to bother you in any way. It's just not like you're going to be fine. Like you're literally be fine. Um, like I, I think I might even keep this thing on for a while. Um, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I do feel like now that I just took it off, and I think you can see, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of red right there around the top of my head. Um, it's, I mean, it's definitely front heavy. I'm not saying it's not, it's definitely front heavy. I think with the top strap, it'll definitely help. Um, bad Robo says the first impressions are honeymoon period. I'm waiting for the review after a month. Absolutely. That, that's why I'm not telling, I'm, this is very much very early first impressions, basically just of weight, feel, you know, look at the lenses, uh, look at the pass through, which was, I'm so impressed with the pass through, um, which I thought it was going to be good, but I'm even more impressed, I guess, than I thought I would be. Um, so what else here? Let me read some of these. Does it make you feel warm? Not really. I did, it doesn't feel hot uh, like a normal headset or anything, I mean, but it's not really doing anything right now other than sitting in the setup screen. So I imagine when it starts to, <clears throat> when you start to do more things and the, and the, every, the things start to heat up inside of it, it's going to definitely heat up more, but it doesn't seem like anything now. You can see, uh, I'm going to switch the camera back. Hang on, guys. Oh, you yeah. go. There you go. Nice, Todd. He's got it side by side. Thank you. Um, I just want to show you those two cameras in the bottom. They're quite large. <clears throat> Those are two cameras right there next to the uh, next to the fans, and then you've got a camera. Mm, there we go. Camera there, and then a camera there as well through the lenses. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be front heavy for sure, but I think with the top strap, it'll be absolutely fine. Um, nowhere near as bad as everybody said it was. Wow, look how that comes off. That was nice. So basically that's on. You grab that little orange strap. Grab the little orange. Hmm, where is the camera? There we go. Let me show this camera. There we go. That little orange strap, you just grab it, pull it, and that whole thing pops off. Thank you, Todd. It's so hard to do when you're by yourself. <laughs> Way to go, Todd. Todd's can't. There. Oh my God. Like, geez, <laughs> Louise. You should have been in here this whole time, bro. <laughs> you know hard, how hard it is to try and do this? And I'm watching. Camera, I'm and like, oh my God, what are you doing? Switch the camera so we can see what you're doing. It's so hard. That's why you can't do this shit solo. I feel bad <laughs> for anybody who's got to do these things solo. I would, I would produce for you if you were getting into that. But uh, thanks for coming in. Um, here. Very cool, dude. Um, this is super nice the way these go on. I wish everybody did these like this. Literally, yeah, that looks super, super smart, right? Like they, yeah. they seem like they're on there good, but with a release instead. Of, yeah, that's super fast. <laughs> I mean, that's it. The, I mean, every time I, the quest. yeah, every time you put one on the quest, I feel like I'm going to break the damn sides of it off. Yeah, Crack, exactly. Snap, yeah. pop. And yeah. I'm like, this is super nice. Um, This little battery thing, um, not easy to put on and off. Like everybody has made it look so far. Like it's just like, I struggled. You saw me struggling to get, it, did, yeah. get it on there because it's like got to sit in just perfectly and then you have to turn it. There are little like notches to kind of show you where it needs to be. Um, but like, even now I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to turn. I don't know which way to turn it to get it off. There's no like oh, tiny little there. arrow or nothing. Yeah, there is. So let me show um, this screen right here. 
Yeah, let me try that. Yeah, you see, there's like little, there's like little. Oh, there's two little dots. Yeah, the dots. So the dot, the this dot right here, the one that's like um, not darkened, is the off. You, that's where you want to. That's when you just stick it in, and then you turn it till it gets to the one that's on, and then it's locked into place. All right, so that does help. And then it has a little indicator on there as well. Yeah, that's where you line the dots up with, right? Yeah. And then it lights up. <laughs> <laughs> I will hand deliver it myself, Mr. Albright. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Albright with a hundred dollar super chat. You rock, dude. This better be in my office next week. Hundred percent, dude. It will be there. Uh I will I cannot wait to head down there. I was telling everybody earlier, Scott, I got a call from or I got a message from Z Storm this morning after he saw my my post of getting it. And he's like, You better bring that with you next week. And I'm like, oh, dude, you're gonna be there. He's like, yep, I fly tomorrow. So Z Storm will be in uh, in Florida soon, headed to the Combat Waffle Studios, and I will be headed there um, next week, uh, spending some time with those guys. And uh, I absolutely will bring it. We'll be checking this thing out. I, I want to play Ghost of Tabor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to do that. <laughs> Can we make this happen? Um, Hook it up to Steam somehow. Todd, look at the size of these lenses. I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not happy about that. Yeah, I don't know, man. Look how small they are. Yeah, like they're so narrow. They're too, so right? small here. Let me uh let me grab the pro again. The pro's tough because I can't move the strap in any way. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what's the problem with the pro. Um but mm, oh, here, let me blow it up so we can see. Yeah, look how much bigger they are. I don't have there's the pro. There's the pro. There's the hang on, let me uh switch this around. Mm -hmm. wow that is quite so considerable big. man let me Holy take these shit. off let me take these off there we go that is considerably smaller yeah i mean like a third the size or two-thirds yeah. the size wow it's crazy a that big. is crazy but i gotta tell you i um just just in the pass through it didn't buy it didn't buy i mean i could tell it was there because i was looking for it and it's definitely more binocular <laughs> than anything you're probably going to be used to um, but I think it'll. Can go you do away. like a, through the lens? Can you put the turn it on and stick it up to the one camera? Maybe. I don't know what's going to make me do yet. Let me try. Yeah, without like a just at a menu or something, right? Yeah. Okay, now that I know how to do that thing, it's definitely easier. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Marquis has also had that on his head like four times before. Oh, that. yeah, yeah, right. So, me, I'm, I'm doing sure it he's... the first time ever on camera. Exactly, yeah. It totally looks like ski goggles. It really does, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't get it to do anything. Does that even turn it on? Yeah. Power's on. Paperweight. Oh, there it goes. And I heard the audio was terrible. Is what I'm reading on Twitter. But... Uh, I, I mean, I, I've done, I've literally done nothing but had the lady talk to me. But sounding great when she was talking to me. Yeah, yeah. there's no, there was no music or anything. All right, let me just see if I can even show you the pass through. That's what I mean. Like, I don't know if we can. Yeah. I don't know if this not is sure work. which camera is the best one to do it to. That's not. Yeah, it's probably not going to work. I don't think. I don't think that would work. Mm, uh, the camera's not focusing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be like, close enough. There's really not much to see in there anyway. But... Oh, that one was better. Was it? Could you see something? Yeah, hang on. Let me blow that one up. I think all you're seeing is the Apple. No, it's just a black screen. Can't see nothing. Yeah, I mean, I'm still in the setup phases of it, right? So, um, yeah, it's not focusing at all. I'll have to do some through the lens. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah, uh, I'll do some stuff with it. I mean, we're gonna play. I'm gonna have. That's the whole idea of getting this thing right is to is to play around with it and do a whole bunch of different stuff with it. Um, Todd, wait. 
That's one of the. Uh, again, Are you I'm saying it's Quest Three ish? Yeah. Weight wise. Well, maybe it's definitely heavier than Quest Three. Um, Quest Pro. <laughs> but oh, okay. Quest Pro very much. I I feel the same way. Um, you know, and I'm sure they weigh differently. That's pretty uh, good for considering what's inside that thing. So. It's definitely front heavy. No I mean, battery, obviously. All the weight is. I mean, this this is the back of it. So right, this is nothing. There's no weight here. So mm -hmm. this is all the weight, and the problem that's the problem, right? All the weight's going to be on your front. But I think with this head strap, let's try it. Yeah, that one definitely looks like it'll be a little better fit. Mm. This feels very jock strapish. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm disappointed in the quality of that second strap. You can tell it was an afterthought. Like it should have the back piece identical to that other one that's on the table, or just a top strap that's somehow connected to that one. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be third party ones, right? Like there's so many of these being sold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, girl. I'm like, how the hell does this thing open up? I mean, it's still. Decent quality and everything. It's not. It's not bad. Anyway, James in chat says he'd like to enter the AVP giveaway for that second. Ah, <laughs> good, nice. I, I would like to just throw my my name in the hat too for that giveaway. <laughs> People were busting on me like, uh, "What's the bigger flex? The uh, the two headsets or the Tesla that I was sitting inside of?" Yeah, right. And I had some guys like he's like, "Man, you're such a chump. You had to have security come get you, bring you to your car." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, come on, guys. All right, let me try this thing on." Uh, all right, here's my issue. I got to figure out this battery out now, though, right? The cord's already kind of like twisting up on me a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh, See, you should have got go. the belt clip. <laughs> yeah, right. Fanny pack. Fifty dollars for the belt clip, bro. Fifty dollar fanny pack. Put it in my pocket. I would. I did get a an accessory. You did buy a two hundred dollar case, though. How do you know? He didn't tell you about the case. I saw a picture of it in your car. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Did you see the post they sent you from GT? No, what'd he say? Somebody, he found someone on Twitter that um, got it to fit inside the original Quest 2 hard shell case. Or Quest oh, 1. I, I think I could definitely could do it. The Quest 1 hard shell case, it fits in. Oh, Quest 1. <laughs> yeah. OG Quest. And that's a nice tiny case. Yeah, that's good news. I mean, I like that. All right. Holy crap. This isn't... All right. Mm -hmm. No, you got to adjust that first. That doesn't look All right. Good. This is going to be interesting. I mean, once I get it set, I think it'll be fine, but I'm just trying to get it dialed in here a little bit. All right, so this is the third time I've taken it on and off, and it's it's it looks like it makes you align your IPD every time you put it on. Hmm, that's that's good. It has um uh like friend mode. I heard something like that. Friend mode. Yeah. So when uh, you have people come over or something and try it on, I don't know. Uh, Jeff Brainer was posting something about it on Twitter. Oh, really? So it like oh, because it's so it's friendly. Okay, so this is definitely that's way that. loose, man. Yeah, I got to tighten this up. Hang on. Definitely takes the weight off of the front, more more off the front um, with the head strap. If you get this dialed in right here, it'll definitely help. I could even tighten it up more. I don't I don't want to screw with it right now, but I think I can definitely yeah, tighten top it up more. Definitely looks like it could be tighter. Yeah. Okay, but... Let me try a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks better. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's. If if you have a headset that normally bothers your cheeks, um, like if it's in a, in a, if, it's, it's sitting on pretty hard, like a Pico. Yeah, it, it well, it's very comfortable though. It's not like a Pico where it's freaking like the facial interface isn't yeah. hard as a fucking rock. No, this is actually really That's nice, cool. comfortable. Um, no light leakage, which is freaking awesome. Which there shouldn't be because I mean they basically scan your face, right? They're putting the the cushion on that makes you know they had like twenty different measurements of cushions that they had to choose from. <clears throat> um. Cool. And, you know, and that's all done by scan of your face. So it should be pretty good, which I, yeah, again, I don't see. Well, I don't know. Hang on. Tiny bit of light leak right here. Like right up. 
tiny bit of light leak right, right under the bar. Like if I do that, I can tell a difference, but not that. So IPD adjustment again <laughs> goes goes automatically into pass through, which is cool. And uh, Todd, pass through is phenomenal, bro. Like I can see like. I'm curious to see what your like occlusion looks like when you're looking at things like right now when I'm in pass through in immersed or something mm -hmm. and I put my hands in front of the immersed menu, it, my hand disappears, right? Because the menu goes right. over top of it. Yeah, yeah. With the Vision Pro, what I've seen online so far is it kind of cuts away so you can still see your hand through all the stuff. It looks a little bad, but it, I'm sure that can be fixed with software patches and stuff. Yeah, Brad's trying his uh, big screen top strap with the knit strap. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's going to be ways to fix that because that back strap looks so much more comfortable. So this is a uh, welcome to voiceover. It says voiceover speaks descriptions of items in Apple. Um, to learn more about the voiceover on your Apple Vision Pro, tap your left index finger against your left thumb. Oh, that was it, dude. Just that started that whole process now. Did you guys see me do oh. that one hand movement? Yeah. All I did was tap my finger and then started a whole thing. And we can see your eyes, I think. Can you? I have a screen in front of me now, so I can't see uh, your, what you're seeing anymore now. Um, oh, maybe not. I thought I thought it did something. But... Turn your voiceover off. Press the digital crown. You're familiar with voice order. Um, pinch and hold your right middle finger against your thumb. Middle finger? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so Traveling Man has got it right. It's called guest access. So basically, you set it up for you. And then if I want to try it on or Z Storm wants to try it on in Florida, you turn on guest mode so that your eyeballs don't show up on the front. You can't turn on eyeballs because it's, it's not his headset. Oh, well, the okay. custom settings for you are just for you. And then uh, guest mode, you know, all that shit's turned off. Yeah, there, something's on the outside screen. Oh, it's yeah. Off again. It's off again. Saw something quick. Yes, yeah, it looked like blue. I don't know, it was weird. <clears throat> he sets up his persona, according to Artful. Then you'll see your eyes. Hmm. All right, I don't want to get into this. It's like in the middle of a tutorial now, so I don't want to like get too. Yeah, far I don't know how long that's going to take. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but I don't know, man. It's the pass through is amazing. I'm just going to say that by far the best pass through I've ever seen. Yeah. Six Except... Live was on uh, Twitter too, commenting the same thing. He did a demo this morning before he bought one, and he said the same thing. He's like, the pass through is like nothing else. It's that good. Yeah. Um, I don't like the strap as much as the other strap. Oh, you know what? I got it wrong. I got it doubled up in the back. Um, I want this with a top strap. Um, yeah, right. I've That's the decided. solution. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't like I don't like this. I like the top strap. I don't like the back strap. The back strap's too thin for me. It's not giving enough support. It's pull on your hair. Head, no. gonna, yeah. Um Yeah, I want I want to attach this to this in some way. Demio do that. Ar Arlen Cardinal just says Demio and pass through, and right at currently Demio and pass through is is iPad version of Demio. It's not. It is. It's not Demio in pass through. If you're used to playing it on a Quest headset, it is absolutely nothing like that. But it's coming. It's coming. And I I talked to I talked to Resolution Games this morning. I talked to uh, talked to Amber, and we were emailing back and forth. And she was like, you know, congratulations on getting your Apple. Um, and we talked about um Paul Brady. Their um a co-founder and CEO uh, wanting to come on the show and just talk about, you know, the Apple game Vision room, Pro. Apple. Yeah, we, you know, he can't talk about like future projects or what's going on, but he can talk about, you know, the process so far, what, you know, why they did what they're doing, what they're doing now, maybe a little bit about Demio. So um, we're just trying to work out timing, um, you know, how to work, how to make that work. But uh, I think we're going to mm. try and do that. It, interesting. I, I just want to hear what, you know, what they have to say about, you know, why they, I mean, I know why they're doing it, but I, mean, I want to hear from them why they think it's important to be on this headset. Um, but yeah, the Bacardi <laughs> Beast is going machine. That they can tell us about what they can do with that headset that they can't do with other headsets. So that'll be cool. Yeah. To talk about. Yeah. I just want to keep it on for a little bit uh, and just kind of wear it for a few minutes and see and, and 
It's definitely front heavy, Todd. Well, for sure, right? Yeah. It's cra- crappy straps. Right? I, I actually think the other the other strap was. I, I mean, I don't have this dialed in either tightly enough. Hang on. Arlen says, uh, so if Guy Godin can get this to work with virtual desktop and then use base stations and controllers, what are your hypothetical PC VR headset thoughts? And I don't even think we need that much. <clears throat> I think Steam um, itself could make an app that would work directly on the headset, just like they've done with Steam Link on the Quest. It's not like that's a mutual agreement with Quest or with Meta or anything. So um, I'm not sure you would need virtual desktop, but if virtual desktop would work, then I don't see any reason why PC VR wouldn't work. <clears throat> uh, VR Sprag guy says, did I say Wednesday for my big screen? Yes, I will have my big screen beyond on Wednesday this with the nice... audio strap and with the uh, my prescription lenses. This will be a nice comparison. Um, I can't, I'm looking forward to GDC now because we'll both be at GDC. You can bring your big screen. I'll bring the Pro, the Vision mm-hmm. Pro, and we can kind of compare the two together. I don't like the strap. I don't like it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, first impressions, I want that other strap. I mean, it's not bad. Um, I, I want this head strap, but I don't want, I don't like this back head strap. It's too small. <clears throat> the problem, here's the problem. If you put that on first, you're going to want that, right? But you're going to need yeah. the, you're going to need the top strap. So it's like they gave you two, but each on their own suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Together, yeah. I think they would be great. Yeah, um, that's weird. You know, and for the price, uh, you know, give me the give me give me something that's comfortable. Well, like I say, that that strap you have on was an afterthought, right? Like people in the demos, you know, months leading up to it were complaining about the front heaviness of the head strap. So they came out with something they're like, oh my God, we need to come up with a better strap. Right. And I guess that's all they can do in the short amount of time, which I find a little hard to believe, but. Yeah, I wonder the Quest Pro, oh, put that other strap back on and use the uh, globular cluster Quest Pro over the head strap. (gasps) Oh, that That would be How how would that attach though? Velcro, it just Velcros to itself. Oh, right. Give me a second. I'm I'm in a quick tutorial. That would be smart. That's it. I'm going to try that. Yeah, yeah. I can show people what I'm talking about. Yeah, that could work. Um, if it straps to the strap, that could work. There's not a lot of strap on the side to connect it, though. Okay, so the... the on the Quest Pro, I use the globular cluster top strap. Uh, which doing is my, a game changer. It is so doing my hands doing my hands set up right now for the hand tracking. Yeah, cool. So you could just unvelcro this because I know you've got one of these, and velcro it to that comfortable strap, and I bet you it would feel way more comfortable. Wow, this just whole thing just dimmed on me. This is cool. They just showed you like a local dimming. It's setting up the eye tracking now. Let's see how, how far I can get to, how far I can be down in my lap and uh, use the hand gestures. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, can you see my lap? Yeah, yeah, we can see your hand. My right hand, this is me using it and I'm doing it way down here. This would never work on a quest. Just did all the eye tracking. <clears throat> my Lozik says this strap might cover the speakers. It might. But if it if it if it fits, then we've got a design concept. Yeah, and we could adjust it from there to pull it back it away from, from this. Yeah. yeah, pull it back away from the speakers. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, the tracking in the hand, Todd, is so freaking good. And the boat, the uh, Bugatti B. Who who is it that said that? Uh, the tracking on the hand. Is- a- Spry guy says use the top strap for the bobo, but the top strap for the bobo goes lengthways, and there's no connections on the Apple. Oh, now it's thing. gonna capture how my face looks. It's gonna do the eye thing. Oh, okay. This cool. is the so it says persona beta. Uh, capture how you appear in FaceTime and other calls, and personalize your eyesight. Um, 
And you're just clicking with your finger. We can see your finger moving. Oh, no. Okay. This is just for FaceTime. Oh, this is weird. You got to take your headset off and then hold your headset up and then shoot your face with it. Like aiming capture. at your face. Yeah. Cool. I thought you would just use it. Well, I guess. Well, I was gonna well say, if you don't you use a phone, but if you don't have, you don't one, have one, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to I'll do this while you talk a little bit through this. Now that you're here. I hope you didn't have to like work and stuff. <laughs> I do have more work. To do. <laughs> Screw it. It's Apple Vision Pro Day. It's Apple Vision Pro Day. So. Wow. Hmm. So it says find a well lit area, use a simple background, uh, uh, take your time and get ready. So let's try it. <laughs> Arcanian said earlier, he comes going through chat to make sure we didn't miss anything. And he's like, I can't use the Quest Pro top strap. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try it. Uh, uh, like, yeah. As soon as I get this thing set up, I'm going to try this. I just want to get to the point where maybe you can see my eyes in this thing and then I'll stop. But I want to try that again. Yeah, yeah. Dan Wright says, Can you place an app in each room of the house and it remembers exactly where each screen set up? Um, I, I don't know about that. It, that functionality is coming to the quest platform um i've seen some you know targeted app placement inside of the apple vision pro but i don't know if it, you can do like your whole house or if it has to be specific like like a boundary room or something that'll definitely be something you have to try yeah it totally looks like ski goggles with tiny little lenses, though. Wow, look at those lenses. They're so small. He looks so focused. <laughs> I'm excited. The uh, internet is definitely booming with Apple Vision Pro stuff. I've been watching Twitter all day, and it is ridiculous how many people either lined up, either pre-purchased, Decided to just go in on a whim or whatever to go buy one of these headsets today. Um, I've seen video from New York, of course, where it was crazy busy. There's so many people lined up to, I saw some uh, still images someone took from Rhode Island where there was absolutely nobody inside the Apple store. So I guess it kind of varies where you are as to how busy it'll be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he can see what it's seeing. I guess he doesn't want his headset on when he's, or his uh, headphones on when he's doing this part. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The, the Arcanian says, yeah, it's crazy to see how many people have more money than common sense. And I don't know. There's a, there's a use case for this. Like people who needed a new laptop, definitely buy one of these instead, especially if you're in that Mac ecosystem. It totally makes sense. Um, if you're just buying this to watch Disney plus, cause you think it's going to be cool to sit in a star Wars room, you definitely have more money than brains. You're correct. Uh, capture canceled for some reason. I think it, I, I've got to do it in a, probably a different setting or something. Brighter room or something. All right, cool. I think I'm just going to, it's keeping me having me do a whole bunch of other shit now. So I'm going to, let me, uh, let me get out of it here for a second. Yeah. It sounds like uh, Jasmine's going live in 10 minutes to open her box. So it's going to be uh, Apple Vision Pro opening day as well. <coughs> yeah. It does say you use a simple background too, right? So you might just go stand by a white wall or something and do it. Yeah. Yep. For sure. All right. I'm going to take the battery off. Take this head strap off. And no standby battery. Without the battery, it doesn't do anything. I don't think so. No, it doesn't. I mean, I wonder if it gives Which you Which is a little like a unfortunate minute. because I thought there'd be a few minutes standby so you could switch batteries if your battery's dying. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, true. From what I've read, you cannot do that. Unless it's coming with a patch or something. Um, I don't know. This might work. It would definitely be work. It would definitely work if this was a little bit smaller. You showed yours off, I assume, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the it straps are pretty thick. They're pretty wide. And so you can put it right over top of the, 
the attachment there. Like where that orange tab is. Mm-hmm. And, and avoid the speaker. Maybe. Okay. And Velcro's all over the place. Yeah, Assassin32 says it. And that and I've been saying it all over Twitter as well. Everyone will copy Apple. We'll all benefit from the AVP even if we don't own one. And it's true. Things that it can do and people didn't think about, it's gonna change it, VR for everyone. Like it's this is a good big deal. Whether whether or not you buy one or ever experience it, things you experience in the future uh, will be because of it. Yeah. Oh I think, it's, no, I think uh, it'll work. Okay. I think it'll, it'll work. work. It'll work. I think it just put the battery on first. Yeah. You can always cut that out. I'm yeah, cutting okay. anything? Oh, you mean on the other side? Oh, oh, I cut the other thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Velcro thing. But at least this shows an idea, right? Now Globular Cluster could come out with a top strap add-on a little thinner to fit the top vision. It actually looks pretty good on there. Yeah. <clears throat> we might come up. We might we might have come up with something here. Right? That looks great. Yeah. All right, stick it on your head. All right, let's try. Dude, that looks so much more comfortable. Definitely take some adjustment. Obviously, this isn't designed for this headset. It does look a little ridiculous. Does anyone else is getting like Princess Leia vibes on that head strap? <laughs> Poor Eric. Hmm. Mm. Hang on. Maybe not. Uh, it's just that I need to adjust. I need to tighten this um, first. I think because now this is super loose. And on the other side? No, it's just on the one, just on one side, I think. Oh no, it's it's behind. Yeah. Yeah. This thing doesn't turn really easy. Oh, maybe it was all the way open. Yeah, okay. There we go. Um that is a little weird, that uh, adjustment knob. There we go. They put the adjustment knob right next to the battery thing, so I kept trying to turn the battery thing. Yeah, you were turning the battery knob. Yeah, okay. All right, that's better. You should FaceTime Brad. I know, right? Can we do that on air? That would be cool. <laughs> this might work, Todd. Uh, I can't get it far enough down in my head, though. Uh, I don't know. Man. I think we're kind of there. I think this could work. Right? You, you look a little ridiculous, but... Well, so do you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could... Design is sound right like that's all it needs yeah i mean it's, you're just trying to take the you're just trying to take the weight you lift off it of, up a little yeah off of your face like yeah. right see right before it was like very much down like pushing on my face now it's not at all um i don't feel like there's almost a there's almost there's a gap al there there's almost yeah. a gap uh i can almost put my fingers up in here now where i couldn't before this is way better i don't feel any pressure on my cheeks at all we're geniuses dude this is it <laughs> and I can hear her fine. I don't think I'm blocking the speakers. And if I am, I think I could pull it back. Like literally, I think if you just shorten, it, you could cut this. So I wonder if you just cut the strap and make it thinner. That's what I mean. Cut the strap, make it thinner, and you're yeah. done. You I'm gonna to pull it back try. together. But yeah, I'll, I'm gonna try that. I think that because this that. is way this back pad, this this thing is great. This thing's super comfortable. It looks like um, it would fit like a baseball hat. Yeah, exactly. It looks comfy. Like even like I, the globular cluster big one, like the big back pieces. Like look yeah. at this. It's huge, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what that looks like. And this is bigger than that. 
This yeah. feels and it Looks feels comfy. way this this material is like great. This um like I want the head strap, but this sucks. This thing back is part, not yeah. yeah, it's not good. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. Like I don't I don't think I'd want to wear it for a long time. Um yeah. <laughs> this is great. I mean, dude. This is super comfortable now. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me get out of this thing and bear back. Yeah, does light seep in now at the bottom? That's a good question. No, I didn't see that. When I put my yeah. fingers in there, I could push it away to where it would, but it didn't yeah. it didn't do it on its own. <clears throat> but there was no weight here. Uh, and I didn't feel as much weight here either. Um, both were pretty heavy on their own. Um, yeah, it definitely looks ridiculous and it does cover up. It does. You, you, it's very Princess Leia-ish. You look like you had buns on the side of your head. Like it's Yeah, and it's almost a good not concept. long. It needs to it's be all, perfected. Yeah, and it's almost not long enough. Like it needs yeah. to be a little bit longer. Um, but it's it's there. Like I could I could if I if I frigged around with this thing, I could I could dial it in where it would be good. So like there where's my camera? There we go. There is the audio and that the strap is that close. Like I need to be able to pull it back farther. Like I want to be back right. here. Yeah, and if the, but if the here. strap was half as thick, it would still be as functional. Oh yeah. It has nothing to do with the, like I could just shorten up the bottom. Like I don't even have to shorten the top. I could just trim this yeah. piece here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like trim this to where it's like this wide. Like just trim it that way. Yep. I think this thing would be perfect. I will definitely mess with that. I got my scissors right here. I'm not gonna do it now. <laughs> I uh this is super cool, man. I, I I am so excited to get in here and set this up. Um couple things. All right, here here's my the final takeaway. The <laughs> lenses are tiny. Tiny. Like this do that that's not good yeah um the um i feel if nowhere near as heavy as everybody said like the, todd you would be if you, you you who work in this all day uh and headsets all day would be right at home okay. again a little front heavy but total weight nowhere near as bad as everybody said like i'm like i'm yeah, the, shocked at how the, the consensus out there is that it's way heavier it's, they're not the, heavier. they're not people that wear vr headsets Right. Like every VR headset is heavy. That's the biggest complaint about VR headsets. That's why we always want to make them smaller. I mean, unless you're going to talk about the big screen beyond, every VR headset is heavy. Right. Um, so if anybody out there is reviewing this is like, oh my God, this is heavy. Well, they don't normally wear a VR headset. So of course it's going to be heavy. Um, I don't know. What else? Um, Audio seemed to be okay. Yeah. I mean, again, all I, all I heard was the lady talking to me and a little bit of like sound effects, like, um, like a little bit of music where it was like, you know, like a harpsichord when it went from like mm. dark to light, you know what I mean? So did I hear anything that would like give me a better, no, no, I, I can't say it on audio. It sounds okay, but who knows? Um, but it sounds okay. Um, Is fingerprints going to drive you nuts? Nope. I mean, it does. I, I saw it there and I just wanted to clean it, but because it's $3,500. That's why it would drive me nuts. <laughs> normally, normally right. I wouldn't care, but look at that. Two seconds, <laughs> two seconds. I cleaned it right up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And and if you if you don't have one of these like sitting on your desk or where you play VR, then you, you don't play VR because <laughs> everybody really has one. I have a drawer full of them. Yeah, right everybody <laughs> has one. So what's the big yeah. deal? I just did that for two seconds and now it's clean. Um, <laughs> if I lose I'll be checking the adult sites later. How? <laughs> who doesn't? Who doesn't? You know who always likes to check the adult sites? My mom. Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh, D's here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, oh, I got one more thing to show. <laughs> this guy, he goes, this guy goes, you want a bag for that? I'm like, um, thirty five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. My two hundred dollars. Give me a bag, bro. <laughs> I'm like, figure it out. Give me a bag. Uh, so yeah, he gave me a bag. It's like, I mean, he jammed it in here. I'm like, okay. Um, but this is so funny, man. Like what you were talking about yesterday, it looks like a quilt or a comforter. It does. It looks like a pillow yeah. wrapped around a bag. It's stupid. <laughs> Like, I don't even know if I would walk. Around. I would be embarrassed to walk around with that. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Never it's, like, it's like a quilt. It looks <laughs> like bedding. It's, it's bedding. Little, it's exactly what it I said last like, night. Yeah, it looks like bedding. Look, look at it. It's like $200 for. It's like a duvet. <laughs> <laughs> a duvet for your Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. 
me, dude. Oh, yeah. And then here's the biggest part. You want to see something crazy? No, it's not focusing. There it yeah, is. We'll do oh, it. yeah. 199. Yeah. 199 for this beautiful bed pillow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, it's not, not even going to fit in a backpack to travel with. Look how it's actually, big that is. It's, it's, it's actually huge. smaller than I thought. Um, it's thick, dude. Oh, it's thick, but it's not anywhere like the regular quest. No, I'm just not probably thick, that much yeah, longer, like, but yeah, it's thick. Um, let's see. Oh, you got to look a little thing inside of there. Let me move this out of the way. You know what? Let me put this on here too. <laughs> I can yeah. see I'm going to be keeping this thing on. I had one like that for like the the, the Vision Pro or the the Quest, Quest Pro has yeah. a cover that's just like that too, by the way. But it's rubber instead of cloth. Yeah. Um. This little baggie is cute. You had to store all your stuff. Tables yeah. And it's like a. It's almost like a accordion, so it like yeah. squishes down, and then when you want to use it, you can pull it up. Okay. Cute. This is nice right here. It's like hard, doesn't go anywhere. Um, it looks like you can pull it out though. It's got like a there's like a strap in here, like a velcro's down that I think you can actually yeah. <gasps> oh, you adjust it? it's movable, it's adjustable. Yeah, Look at that. <gasps> that is cool. Would that be for different head straps? Maybe. Or different face cushions? Oh yeah, maybe. I mean, you know they're going to come out with different head straps, right? I mean, there's no way they're not. Okay. Yeah, so that fits in kind of nice. Yeah, that's, you wouldn't that's travel with it plugged in and charging. Yeah. Or would you? I don't we know. could. Why not? Well, I guess it doesn't charge. It just doesn't work without a head. Without right. A it's just going to use the battery. <laughs> and this is supposed to go in here. I do like that this thing in the front is the, like a lens protector. So you don't have mm -hmm. to buy... You don't have Built to buy in. a lens protector, right? Nothing's going to bang into your lens. Nothing's lenses. getting into there, you know? So when they do come out with controllers, I can jam my controllers in there. <laughs> when they come out with controllers. <laughs> and that's it. $200, baby. Ay, ay, ay. $200 for a pillow. <laughs> it's heavy when it's all together. <laughs> it's heavy. I don't know. <clears throat> it's Apple. It's pretty. It's um, pretty. Return, return it. All right. I'm heading back to Apple right now to bring it back and get my money back. Yeah, you got to return um, that. They're going to they're be like, what the hell? You're returning this on day one? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I'll take away from this uh, quickly and then we'll get out of here. I know we've been here for an hour and 40 minutes already. I didn't, didn't even think we'd be here yeah. that long. Um, a couple takeaways. It's very well built. Um, the packaging was pristine, great. Apple, I'm sure it's Apple. All Apple shit's probably that same way. Um, super nice. But And then the feel, the build of it, it is heavy in the front. It's glass. It's going to be heavy. Um, but again, the overall weight shocks me as how light it is. And the only reason it shocks me is because everybody said it was so heavy. It's like if nobody ever said it was heavy, I would be like, okay, this is a normal headset. But now I'm shocked at how light it is because everybody told me how freaking heavy it was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's any much. It's it, if you're normally used to wearing a VR headset, you'll be fine. You Got to figure out some type of thing for the head strap, which again we just proved that you can get something very easy to take care of this. And you don't think that you're going to have like in a week, ten companies yeah, come I mean. out with yeah. something that's going to be like this. It's going to be better. So yeah. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about how it feels on my head anymore. The facial interface is very comfortable. Um, it's it's like a cloth, but not. I don't know. It's tough to explain. It's spongy like PU leather, but it feels like cloth. Um, it's extremely comfortable. Probably the most comfortable face, facial interface I've ever had. Is it going to soap up like sweat and stuff, or is it yeah. repel sweat? Like the I, PLU ones. I don't know. Probably. It's not. You know, it's definitely not leather. Riders, is that going to stink like crazy? It's definitely not leather, um, but it's definitely not cloth. So but I it's definitely know. removable, which means someone oh, yeah. else can come up with a better one. So yeah, I like that. Yeah, and then I love the I love that there's no Velcro. I, I hate dicking around with the Velcro on these things. Or it's magnetic, right? Magnetic. It's just magnets right in. It's perfect. Um, you know what's nice right there? If they can, let me get here. I think that's the size. 
Mm, it doesn't like going to get put your hand over top of it. Yeah, behind it, put your hand behind it so we can it'll focus on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it say think, nine something? I think it's the measurement. Maybe. Yeah, it's W plus. There's a there's a it's the measurement of the size of the face gasket. So I think there's like 21 of these. So when you measure your face, they go in the back room, they pick out what you want. I, was, I don't know if you were here earlier when I was telling people about how the process is. They actually don't have any of these that are complete. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah. There's mm-hmm. like stations in the back room. So when somebody orders one, they go in, they grab the headset. That's in one box. They go grab the facial interface. They put that in the box. And then they build the big box and then they seal it and then they bring it out to you. Yeah. If you order it already, then it, it comes pre Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if it's in the store, that's how they do it, which I thought was cool. Cool. Um, lenses are tiny. That's my other takeaway. I mean, way smaller than I thought they would be. It is definitely a binocular view in there. Um, I didn't bother me and pass through as much, but I don't know what that'll feel like in VR, or I don't know what that'll feel like if I'm into something more than just pass through. Um, yeah. So concerned about uh, that a little bit. Uh, Field of view, sure. lens size of lenses. That's all going to be a little bit dicey. Yep. Um, but otherwise, uh, I think the, the battery is heavy, but it's not, you know, unheard of i mean tuck in my pocket i think i'm gonna be okay um the cord goes on nice and easy um i like the way everything else feels uh i've gotten into a little bit of the setup it seems like it's pretty easy um you know i like the button hit for the ipd adjustment is super cool and i i think overall i like it i think uh, so far you know just hands-on not doing anything but a quick couple of quick um you know setup things I think it's pretty cool i think uh i'm looking forward to jumping in there more but build quality which i think we knew was going to be really good it's apple they're going to build good um yeah we cool. think you want, to get, you want to get one not yet haven't convinced oh. me come on dude <laughs> you know you want one of these uh, do, uh, i don't know i'm torn if, if it just wasn't so damn expensive jay dunn was on here earlier saying he's in love with two of them Those guys no you're right. crazy <laughs> I have I have some great video. Did you see the video that I put in the in the chat with uh, in in pack chat about with the uh, the older gentleman in the wheelchair? Oh yeah, I saw the demo. Yeah. yeah, I have more video of him like just doing cool things, man. He was just pinching and pulling the menus around. And... Long as mine. Yeah, yeah, I mean you saw it. he had That's to be Meta 80. needs. Like, why doesn't Meta have all these stores everywhere and places like in Best Buy with Meta employees yeah. sitting there? Yeah, I mean you said you it's saw you, you said you saw uh, I do not have an iPhone uh, Assassin Thirty Two. Uh, you said you saw a store that was reported that there was nobody in there. Like uh, Rhode Island's like, store. I think is it's empty. I think it's very <laughs> limited. Like, and it's not going to be every store, right? Because every every area is different of who you exactly. know what kind of economy it is or who has exactly. money for these things. But yeah. my store was packed, packed with people. Yeah, that's and good. They were all demoing obviously it. the New York ones were packed, but yeah. the media knew that and it was purposefully packed. Jasmine, um, but all over the hers. country, there's other ones that are were were dead quiet and tons were busy. It just kind of depends on where you live. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> somebody just messed me. Mateo just messaged me. He's too funny. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, Jasmine said her store was backed in San Diego and she was going to try and get hers, but it sounds like she did get it because otherwise she was going to have to drive like 75 miles. I can't believe that she'd be ready to go yeah. back and ready to go live already. So she must have got it at her local store, even though she said it was busy. So that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, check whether you can charge the battery little... pack uh, off the Vision Pro with the external battery pack. Uh, you can. Oh yeah, it's USB C, so I could use a Bobo battery or another, you mm-hmm. know, charging bank. I could have to put on your Prism XR belt. You yeah, freaking hours of. Yeah, Vision Pro with that. Yeah, or or a Technic jigger. You know what I, I mean? I I would definitely if you're on a plane or you're traveling or something like that where battery is an issue for you. I would absolutely have a, a separate power bank, you know, a 20,000 mAh battery or something like that. Something big. Or just in plug it here. into the plane. Or plug it yeah. into the plane. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I think that would do it. Um, yeah. I'm impressed so far. I mean, 3,500 bucks. I don't know. But uh, just building first, like, I think it's good. Yeah. That's what I'm waiting for people to do this weekend is to play with it, right? load up some programs, not games, not experiences, not watching a basketball game. Like, no one's going to do that for $3,500. I want to see a programs running. <laughs> That's what I'm excited about. Like, let me uh, see. I don't know. I don't know what, but I just want to see shit working on it. Hmm. Assassin 32 VR says, uh, Apple puts a wall on a lot of charging stuff. I can't charge my iPhone with a Bobo battery. I don't know. I think I, I haven't, I'll try it. I'll test it out for you this weekend and I'll let you know for sure. 
Uh, but I don't see there being an issue. It's That's just interesting because my wife charges her iPhone with my Boba battery all the time. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's just you. Maybe it doesn't like you, Assassin32. It's like, maybe. screw you, dude. Screw you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Technical says I should get one maybe, but my girlfriend will get mad and she'll move out. Probably. She'll move out. Dude, my wife, I walked home with these today. My wife's like, what? You're a freaking moron. What's business, right? It's business right off. Business. Too funny. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I think... Know. Todd, uh, thanks for coming in and help me out, man. This is uh, it was not easy when you're doing like live demo stuff. It's just you can't change the camera quickly. I get the headset on, I can't see what's going on. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming in and doing this. No you do a good job. That's why you pay you the big bucks. That's right. So I get double, you get double. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for everybody for hanging out with me. I mean, uh, there was like a ton of people in here at one time. I'm, I'm shocked because Brad was live. So, um, but yeah, let's all go watch Brad and, and go, let's go watch Jasmine. And, uh, I'm curious to see what they think about it and if they were close to what I think. Um, but yeah, uh, more to come. Um, definitely going to have stuff for you. Maybe I'll go live again Saturday or Sunday, maybe Sunday. If there's no virtual stranger Sunday, maybe I'll go live Sunday to You got to figure out how to update. stream from it or something. There's gotta be a way to do that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Why don't we get together and try and figure that out? Hey, we Falcon VR. Stream. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man uh yeah i'll see you and i'll see you soon at gdc man uh see mm -hmm. you soon at gdc um but yeah thanks for coming by guys and watching this i appreciate it if you guys have questions um you can put them in this in the in this video um message comments, com section. comments afterwards comment afterwards if there's any questions you didn't answer here i'm sure there's a ton i didn't see you know it's tough for me to see you know, all the questions please ask them i'll be happy to go I, I will go back through and answer them all um and if i can't answer them all directly i'll answer them all if i go live again this weekend I'll write them down and make sure I answer them. But is there anything you want me to do? If there's anything you want me to try? Uh, any, you know, if there's anything. You need to do a photo uh, series side by side with every single headset you have back there. Ooh, that's a great. Uh, what do you mean? Like a photo on me or like a photo next to each other? Just next to each other. Hmm. Nice. Like figure out a way to. Yeah. On a like table or something. That's nice a great idea. So that everyone can get an idea of what it looks like next to a Pimax. What it looks like next to a. Quest Pro and Avario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great People in idea. our world would find that interesting. We could put them up on YouTube as posts. I think that's a fantastic idea. I think it's uh, that's a great idea. There's all kinds of stuff I'm kind of planning on doing. So, yeah, just uh, let me know what you want. I'll try and get to it all. And, uh, yeah, there's a final look at it. Apple Vision Pro. It's really light, Todd. It really is lighter than I thought. Amazing. Yeah, looks cool. Cool. All right, jealous. guys. Uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.